All right, blessings everyone. Okay, I'm still here. I'm still here. All right, I am not feeling very good, so um, I'm talking this way is because my stomach is really, really upset. I'm nauseous. I think I got a little, I got a touch of uh, food poisoning. Um, we went out of town to celebrate our anniversary our 30th anniversary and on the highway we picked up a barrel of chicken and I've been sick ever since. We just got back in on the, I think it was Saturday and uh, we have company, you know. Um, so yeah, it's been crazy. Um, but enough of that. Uh, it, I've been really meditating on this sign because what I was drawn to was Eve the garden and I'm very you know concerned of what's going on here with Jonathan Kleck's testimony in the alleyway so I'm looking at the garden and I'm looking at the testimony of Jonathan Kleck this man so I go to the garden and I'm thinking okay it's got to be the women right it's Eve and Mary so let's just focus on that break it down okay but I was really stuck. I that wasn't going anywhere. So I took a chance and I went and I and I don't normally do this, especially when I'm I'm on to something here and I'm receiving. I don't go out. So I went over to Brother Nolan's channel and I heard him talk about Cain's seed. Then right away I knew I knew what I was looking at. So I went back to the garden and I'm looking at both of them now. And when I read out um, Luke 1, 35, And the angels answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come, come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Okay, so... She's asking him how this is going to happen, happen, seeing that I know no man. Okay, so this, again, is bringing me back to the garden because what has happened to Eve, I believe, is that she was overshadowed by Satan. And this is where she receives the seed of the serpent. Because it's only afterwards and after the act of what happened to Eve does God put enmity between the serpent seed and the woman's seed. So this is where I believe we have Cain. Okay, the firstborn. Of Eve, okay. Um, Satan's seed. All right. So here, I'm looking at this and I'm going, okay, so this is about the conception of Cain. Hear me out. This is the conception of Cain. See, when I asked the question, when I was healing, I went to God and I said, how old is this sin? And the question was incest, sex. I asked how old was the sin and right away it was garden. So I knew at the age of 20 that my answer was the apple represented sex. But it's not what you think. It's not the sex act or flesh on flesh, but energy. When I think back at all the times that I was raped in spirit, and I would wake up drained, tired. I felt invaded. And I couldn't do anything about it. It was so beyond me. And I had no understanding of it. Here was the tree of knowledge given by Satan of good and evil. Because when I look back, I always judged of good and evil, not right or wrong or, you know, but it was always good and evil. So I knew that when my innocence was taken, 
knowledge was replaced. So I really identified with Eve and I knew that the sex act itself was of energy and not of flesh, not of man. So when I say she was overshadowed, this is where I say he planted the seed. And then God takes that and ends it by putting enmity between the serpent seed and the woman's seed. So then you, I just want to, you know, say that with Cain being the first murderer, okay, who rebelled, um, when you hear of him, right, where, I'm just going to take it out here. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. And thou hast driven me out of this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid. So he was covered right up. There, there was no recognizing him to being Cain. You know, um, anybody that probably would have seen him would not have known what it was that they were looking at and probably would have killed him. And I shall be a fugitive, and a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, and it shall become to pass that every one that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord said unto them, unto him, Therefore, whosoever slay Cain, Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark, set a mark on Cain, lest any find him should kill him. So again, he just was not recognizable. So then when I started to do my research on this, when I heard a brother at the time, his name was Jonathan, or Jacoius Nine, and now is going by his name, Jonathan Nolan, when I heard him for the first time, and he's the first one that brought me actually back to the, the garden after I had asked the question about how old the sin was. So when I heard him, that's when I did some investigating on, on Esau, and I read the book uh, Enoch, okay, to find out more about Esau. And I read this here in, in, in the King James, and the children struggled together within her, and she said, if it be... So why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. So when I was finding all of this out about Esau, I, I automatically is, I'm, I'm saying that I believe that Esau is the seed of Cain, being that there, there are so many similarities in what had happened in the womb and what God had told her. So again, you know, um, this is where I believe Satan had overshadowed Eve. Okay, so here um, I also want to bring up that when Jonathan Cleck told everyone about turning everything upside down and how the Virgin Mary, when he um, when he read or he was told to to say the Hail Mary, there's some there's a few things wrong with this. Okay. Now, one, the archangel Michael is a warrior, and I don't believe he would have come to Jonathan Cleck and said, hey, you know, I'm taking back what uh, Gabriel said to Mary, and um, I'm going against the Holy Spirit right now by telling you that if you turn Mary upside down, the womb is death. The complete opposite of what had taken place with Mary, which was the fruit. Okay, this was... The son of God. This woman was blessed 
favored. Okay, so why would the Archangel Michael come and take this and come against God's word? Didn't make sense to me. So we have to understand that the Hail Mary, for those that don't know the Hail Mary, but the Hail Mary is in two parts by two different, there's the Archangel Michael who comes down and, and I'll just read here. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto the city of Galilee named Nazareth. Okay. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed art thou among women. Okay, so he, she's highly favored here. Now, this is the first half of the prayer. Now, the second half comes from her cousin Elizabeth. All right. And here, Elizabeth and it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the solution of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. And she spank out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And here, the angel of death that comes to Jonathan Clett flips everything upside down as in quite the opposite of being the fruit of thy womb, but death. This, you know. Okay, so I believe that when God, you know, um, the power of the highest shall over, overshadow thee, it's through the overshadowing. Do I believe that now, because of God putting the enmity between the serpent seed and the woman's seed, we are protected, and the one that wasn't protected was Eve. And the man that received this gospel from an angel of heaven is spoken very loud and clear in scripture. Okay. Galatians 1, 6 to 9. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. That is not another gospel, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. And this is exactly who we're talking about, Jonathan Cleck. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have pre preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that which ye have received, let him be accursed. Sound familiar? Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility and worshiping of angels, intruding into those things which he had not seen, vainly puffed up, by his fleshly mind. Now it's not that I don't believe in angels, I do. Okay? But they were just never in my walk. Um, I just don't have anything to say. I just have no knowledge of angels other than I know that they exist, you know? Um, I just dealt with Jesus one-on-one -on -one at, at all times with the Holy Spirit and with Father Abba, I mean, I just, um, I never prayed to any angels before. So this is all new to me when it comes to the angels. Um, so anyway, I'm not feeling really good here. So I'm going to just end it here. Um, and I'll, I'll finish this off later. All right. So this is just to get this off the ground. So I really do believe that they, they both conceived, Mary conceived the the Son of God, and Eve um, received the seed of the serpent. And this would be Cain. And these are the things that I fight with that I will be showing you later. I gotta go. All right.